Happy New Year, everybody. It's officially 2018, but before we jump into the new year, I feel like we should talk about 2017 a little bit. A lot of shit happened, and some of this shit, I feel like we should just keep in 2017 and not let it carry over, okay? Unicorn Frappuccinos. You remember this pink bullshit? In April, Starbucks released this pink, sugary, fuck-ass drink, and people lost their minds. Nobody even knew what was in it. And no one will ever know, by the way, because I tried to Google it and literally nothing came up. All it said was ice, milk, blue powder, and pink powder. The balls on Star- Oh, it's blue powder. I know it's blue, Starbucks. What's the fucking powder? What is that? Is it sugar? Cocaine? Is it- What is it? For all I know, it could be sawdust. They cut a piece of wood in half, dyed it blue, and then threw sawdust in all our drinks and we're like, this is fucking great. Blue powder is not an ingredient. That is the most vague shit in the world. That's like ordering a fruit punch and being like, hey, what's in this? And the guy goes, uh, uh, red. That's basically what Starbucks is doing here. Clearly they don't want you to know what this drink is made out of. Let's leave that shit in 2017. Don't bring that back, okay? Coffee is fine. Lollipop lips. I didn't even know this was a thing until I started doing research for this video. Was this actually a trend in 2017? Lollipop li First of all, who the fuck looks like this after they eat a lollipop? Do you know how violently you gotta eat, or sexually, you have to eat a lollipop for that to happen? Ugh, ugh, like, what are you, rubbing it on your face? Like, no one looks like that after they eat a lollipop. You look like the Joker. It looks like your mouth is like an infected anus. It literally looks like someone put lipstick on while they were blindfolded and drunk as fuck. Male rompers! No. I'm sorry. To be fair, I don't know why anyone would wear a romper, male or female. When I see a romper, the first thing I think of is like, what if you gotta take a piss? What happens? You gotta get fully naked. And if you're anything like me, you absolutely hate public restrooms. I assume this entire place is covered in semen, jizz, blood, and piss. All of the major four uh, bodily fluids. So I'm in and out when I'm in there, okay? I take the minimum amount of my skin out of my clothing so that I could relieve myself, and then I get the fuck out of there. But if you're telling me that now I gotta get fully naked just to take a pee, fuck washing my hands, I'm gonna need to shower immediately. Vaping, it's over, okay? Pack it up, all right? You had your time, and now it's over. You blew your little clouds, and did your little your fucking tricks with the smoke, it's done. You're starting to look ridiculous, okay? Looks like you're smoking out of like a beeper or something or a detonator. <sighs> and just blowing smoke in public places. People love smoking that shit indoors. So they could be like, dude, relax. It's not smoke. It's water vapor. It doesn't, there's no odor or anything. It's over. Salt Bay? Imagine becoming famous for sprinkling salt. I mean, at this point, you could be famous for anything. I don't see why anyone goes to college anymore. You just walk down the street. Eventually, you're gonna do something. You tie your shoe and someone's gonna be like, oh, and put that on Twitter. And then everyone's gonna be like, yo, the tie my shoe guy or some shit, you know what I mean? And I know that sounds crazy and you think I'm joking. I'm not, I'm dead serious. Do you remember Alex from Target? The kid was minding his business at his job. He was bagging groceries. Three days later, he's on fucking Ellen getting a free supply of shoes or some shit. And now this guy with his salt, what is, what is next? This guy has 10 million followers on Instagram and no one said a word. No one's angry, okay? I'm not angry, but a lot of people were angry at Kim K. Like at least she sucked a dick. This dude just sprinkled some salt. You know what I'm saying? Al Sharpton selfies? Al, <laughs> you gotta retire the selfies, bud. Trust me, okay? Trust me. The Eclipse, not impressed. I know they're like rare or whatever, but come on. Did that really live up to the hype? Like seriously, we have Netflix now, okay? If I want to, right now, I could walk into the other room, watch a documentary about a six-year-old who killed his parents. And I'm supposed to be impressed by a silhouette in the sky? And don't even get me started on the whole sunglasses scam. They were marketing the Eclipse as if half the population was gonna go blind that day. They're like, oh no, it's a dangerous shadow. It's a dangerous shadow. So, in order to not go blind, you have to buy these glasses for $1.25. Not fooling me! I didn't buy them, I was looking straight at the sun, raw dogging it. And I can still see, so obviously, no one's going blind. But just for fun, let's just say that was true. Let's say that if you looked at the sun that day, 
you were gonna go blind. You're telling me that you wouldn't just give these glasses out for free, you greedy pieces of shit? Everything's gotta be monetized nowadays, huh? Even the fucking the sun is not off limits. Someone made money off of the sun. The world we live in. Anyway, that is all for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast called The Basement Yard. It comes out every Monday on iTunes and SoundCloud. And I will see you next week. Bye.